is part 67 of SQL Server tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss altering database table columns without dropping the table. Let's understand this with an example. We'll be using this table TBL employee for this demo. Notice that this table has got ID, name, gender and salary columns. And I have used this create table script to create the table TBL employee. And if you notice the salary column, NVARCAR is the data type. And this is the SQL script to populate it with some sample data. If you need the SQL script, I will have it available on my blog. Now let's say, based on this table, we want to write a query which is going to list the total salaries of employees grouped by gender. So we want the output to be like this. So let's write a query for that. So select gender and we want sum of salary and let's give it as an alias total from table TBL employee and we want to group the salaries by gender and keep in mind the salary column data type is NVACAR and let's try to execute this and see what's going to happen look at the error message it states operand data type NVARCAR is invalid for some operator so basically this error message is stating we cannot use the salary column with some aggregate function that's basically because its data type is NVARCAR so we need to change the data type of this column from NVARCAR to integer and one way to do that within the object explorer right click on the table TBL employee click design and notice the data type of the salary column it's NVARCAR let's change it to integer and let's try to save it and see what's going to happen look at that I get a warning saving changes is not permitted basically this is telling we need to drop and recreate the table and if you remember this table has already got some data as well so if we drop and recreate it, we're going to lose that data. So how do we get rid of this warning message? Okay, basically, there are two ways. Option one, use a SQL query to alter the column. Okay, so instead of using the SQL Server Designer, we can simply use a SQL query. So let's write the SQL query. Alter table, TBL employee. And within that table, we want to alter the column salary and we want to change the data type to integer. So let's execute that and let's now run this query and see if it works as expected. Look at that, it works as expected. So this is one option. And the second option is basically to disable this option within SQL Server. So prevent saving changes that require table recreation. Okay, this option is on by default within SQL Server. All we need to do is disable that option. And to do that, go back to SQL Server. Within Tools, select Options, and then Expand Designers, and under that, Table and Database Designers. And uncheck this checkbox, Prevent Saving Changes that Require Table Recreation. Click OK. Now, let's try to design the table. Now, at the moment, salary data type is integer maybe let's change it to something like maybe small integer let's save the changes and see work it works look at that it gives a warning but that's fine once I click yes look at what's gonna happen the table the changes are saved and as you might expect when we execute this query we get the same output that's it for today thank you for listening have a great day